Hey, friends. So, one of the things that happens when I'm on a detox experience, like the one I've been describing for several days now, you can watch my previous posts to hear me talk about what some of that experience has been about, but one of the things that happens is everything impacts me more. Everything impacts me more emotionally. It seems like everything impacts me more psychologically. My mind, by and large, is clearer. Now, every once in a while, I also have emotions come up. Like, I was finding myself kind of frustrated yesterday, and I also realized I went a little too long without eating food. This is not supposed to be a fast. This is supposed to be a cleanse. There's a, quite a significant difference. Although fasting is cleansing, cleansing is not necessarily fasting. And uh, so I had a little bit of that kind of unsettled energy kicking up. And, you know, the rule is just go easy, take it slow, relax, get what you need. And so 
by last night I felt great and by this morning I felt even better. So interesting how that experience keeps keeps chugging along. You know, anybody who's interested in finding out more about a raw vegan detox experience, I highly recommend it. I've done this like 12 or 15 times now. Um, but back to my point, things impact me in a way that, that they don't otherwise in my, in my normal habitual life. It's like I've, I've opened up the channel somehow. And so I read a poem yesterday in my book of Hafiz poem standing on the piano here. You can't see it, but I put it here so I could read from it. Um, and it was about art and creativity. And I was like, this, it was too perfect for me not to read it on the post. Now, oftentimes I just paraphrase his, his poems. I think I did one the other day, maybe even yesterday. But today's was just spectacular. And it was right, right down the line of um, so much of what I think about, so much of what I work with in my own practice, in my own creative practice, and with my students. So this is called An Enthusiasm to Express Discovery. Some painters were engaged in a passionate conversation about the value of art. It was an interesting discussion that I listened to almost an hour without speaking. Then a young woman turned to me and said, Any comments, Hafiz? And these thoughts came to mind that I spoke. The greatest and most lasting art, the impetus of it, I feel, always comes from a wanting to help, a wanting to free, and an enthusiasm to express discovery. Each soul at some point will begin to feel all is within it, and then attends, as it were, to its own inner world. That attendance may not result in anything considered tangible reaching the masses, but the artist also becomes aware of inner spheres and mingles with them, and then puts those experiences into what they most care about for the world to see and touch, if the world wants. I know all my poems come from a wanting to give something useful. So that struck me pretty deeply. Because I've done some reflection and contemplation on the value of art, the meaning of art. But, and I've hesitated sometimes. I think, you know, it's nice to hear a great master talk about the underlying impetus of art. We spend a lot of time when we're, if we're, if we are artists, we spend a lot of time polishing our craft, honing our craft, learning the minute details of how to express what we want to express. And and that goes for piano, that goes for writers, that goes for actors. I mean, that goes for truly any form of art. There's a craft that, that is, and a, and a large portion of our energy and time goes towards honing that craft. But there's this underlying impetus for why we even want to do all that work. And ultimately, what it is we want to say with that work. And drawing that back to something as simple as wanting to give something useful or wanting to help and enthusiasm to express discovery. I mean, that phrase summarizes why I love teaching. Because teaching for me, means is, is, an, is a chance for me to just go back and recall 
the, all the amazing moments I've had of realization of having a teacher show me something or, or, or reading something in a book and having these aha moments of discovery and teaching gives me a chance to find other human beings who, who are on that same journey or at least on some portion of it and, and want to receive that. So I get to get passionate about something that might be pretty sort of mundane or not, not necessarily mundane, but kind of esoteric or a detailed nuance of piano technique. I mean, how many people are thinking about that in their daily lives? Not that many, but there are those of us out there who are pursuing these, these various forms of art. And for, and for us, those moments of discovery are they're explosions of enthusiasm. And so, so that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what hit home for me when I read this. Um, not only do I think it creates a really beautiful description of why art anyway, right? Why art, question mark, as an open question, but but also a really wonderful, concise summary, a concise sentence to kind of um, get to the heart of what it means to teach and what it means to share the experiences we've had on this creative journey. So I wanted to share that with you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.